everyone. Today we are going to be checking out an inflatable kayak from Air Kayak. Uh, the model is the Mako DS. Kayak situations. So we're going to... Inflatable gonna, style. <laughs> inflatable. So we're going to be unboxing this and then setting it up. All right, here's an overview of what we're seeing as soon as you look inside the box, if you will. A little review airplane action there, but we're gonna get this all out and put on the table for you. Okay, a little overview here of what was inside the box. We've got it all laid out. Look at this. We have the instruction sheet. We have a fin. More on all of this stuff later, by the way, as we get to it. Um, there's gonna be a patch kit right here. We have the paddle that we will put together, undoubtedly. Uh, the pump itself. These are handles for the pump. And it has little directions on it. We have the seat back here, which is a pretty serious, nice seat. And the main attraction, the kayak itself. Got a little peek at the color. It's popping. Look at that. That's a vibrant, awesome looking blue. Two of them. Okay, can't forget the bag. At first glance, you're going to think that this bag is kind of like a lightweight bag. You're kind of going to not give it a second second glance, second guess. This is a nice bag. I don't know what this mesh is. It's like a rubberized material. Um, it's definitely going to be waterproof. We've got some E-rings all over this thing. We've got the Coco Pelli systems. The zippers on this are beautiful again. Nice, nice zipper action. Um, you know, this is like a nice neoprene. So looks like you can honestly even like use this as a backpack. Just wanted to point out something real quick. As you see, the paddle has a lot of room for adjustments, which is pretty sweet. Also has a very nice locking mechanism there. We have the kayak all laid out and we are going to start the inflation process about now. All right, inflation process has begun. So this is the first time that we've ever uh, inflated a kayak. So we uh, have read over the instruction paper that they send you with your kayak. And also we watched a video from Air Kayak that gives you some helpful tips and hints the most important being the best way to inflate this is to stand in the kayak on the floor. It keeps things where they need to be. So if you want to watch that video, go for it. It's very helpful, but that's the biggest tip. The biggest takeaway is to stand on the floor. The first thing we need to do is inflate the floor. So before you do that, you need to make sure that your valve stems are in the closed position. That way, when you take the hose back off from pumping, the air doesn't just come right back out. So you push down, and uh, turn to the right, like a quarter turn. Then while you're standing on the floor, you just pump up the floor and you have to pump up to six PSI. It takes just a couple minutes, not too shabby. Next up, we need to fill the pontoons. So again, just put the nozzle of the pump into the valves with one on each side. And you're gonna need to switch kind of back and forth once you get them filled up a bit to make sure that you're keeping them equally filled and that your um, the zippers on the front and the back are staying aligned. Now that it's all inflated, let's have a walk around and take a peek at stuff. So here's the footwell and you have your footrest, which is adjustable. It has clips on both sides, so you can move it forward and backwards for your comfort. Also, there is some nice zippers on top to access some storage in the front and in the back, along with those bungee cords to keep some of your gear strapped down. Paying closer attention to the back of the seat, you notice it has some different pouches and pockets, uh, great for a water bottle or some things that you need to bring along with you. And a zippered pouch is always a bonus. Installing the seat is pretty straightforward. You just need to pretty much put it on the floor. There's some Velcro there that holds it in place and just put it between the front and the back D-rings that those D-rings are what you attach the straps to with the pretty, pretty snazzy clips. And the straps are fully adjustable. 
Just make sure that you make it kind of tight and secure it in there for a nice, comfy, enjoyable kayak ride. Another nice little side feature here is those Velcro straps to secure your paddle when you're just kind of chilling there and you don't need to be paddling anywhere. Overall, uh, setting this up and inflating it didn't take too long. I would say maybe 15, 20 minutes, and that's for a first timer. So I'm sure that this can be done a lot quicker when you're out by the water. Um, last thing we need to do is the fin. So let's flip it over and check that out. Installing the fin is pretty straightforward. You pretty much slide it in to the guide rails there. Uh, there is a plastic pin that you secure in there to lock it to make sure that your fin doesn't fall out. Now it's time to deflate the kayak. So all you need to do is open the valve cap and then press down on the valve stem, turn it a quarter turn to the left, and you'll notice that the valve is now open and the air is escaping. Exactly what you wanted to happen. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to finish deflating this, open all three of them, the pontoons and the floor, and fold it up and put it in our mesh bag so that we can head out to the water in a couple days. Don't worry, we'll bring you guys along. And we tried it again and got it right this time. That looks a lot better there, doesn't it, people? Mm -hmm. uh, I think so too. Boom. That was the pump. People, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. There's gonna be some paddle action coming soon. Paddle, paddle, watch out for that coming real soon. Can't wait to get this puppy out. Uh, if you're new in town, please consider subscribing so you don't miss kayak adventures. With all that being said, keep your nose clean, people. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.